All right, what's going on guys? Today's video is completely different once again. Um, this video is different in its own way because I'm gonna be talking about B-roll, but I'm talking about the importance of B-roll and how to make it in your videos, how to make your video level up your performance. So I'm waking up today here guys and it is just spectacular. So. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm looking at. This is probably one of the most monumental days in all of Vancouver as far as winter goes, but take a look at this. Also, by the way, yesterday was my birthday, so it was great hanging out with friends and having a great weekend, but yeah, I'm super, super excited to show you guys. This video is going to be awesome. Let's get started. So this is what I'm waking up to this morning. Take a look at this. Look at how much snow there is. Now, I know this is definitely something else, but look at the winter wonderlands! It's amazing here in Vancouver, guys. Something that I am super, super excited about to go out and film. As you can see, it's beautiful. All right, so let's talk about B-roll. So if you don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is all about slow moving, um, creations in your video. So basically if you're trying to do a slow cinematic scene and then add some you know cinematic features to it. So b-roll is very very important. I'm actually starting more and more and more to add that into my videos but first I wanted to show you guys this. This is pretty cool. I just got myself a new little knife. Um, pretty awesome I have to say. There's a bunch of stuff that I just actually purchased. Um, I will be doing some reviews on that but I have to say I'm loving this knife so far. Boom, voila. So having something uh, like this is also really, really cool as well. So it just, it's its fun. I love knives. It's something that uh, is a creation for me. I love to just kind of hang on to knives and, you know, cut things and, and create things. So this is definitely going to be added into my video. So if you guys are interested in getting something like this, this is kind of cool. So anyways, enough about that. Yeah, so today's video is all about B-roll and how you can add it into your videos and how to make your videos more cinematic looking. So what better way to get started in going out in this beautiful, beautiful snow and do some B-roll clips. And then I'll do, I'll do two different B-roll clips. The first one I will add that will just be like a slow motion and like um, not much to it and I'll show you guys how it is to create a b-roll clip with no transitions and then the second one I'm gonna do is gonna have some transitions into it and you guys be the spectators here and tell me which one you think is better because I'll tell you what the one with this with the transitions in your b-roll is gonna be a thousand times better um, you know like transitions like that and then moving the camera to your body and other things so I can show you guys some of that some of these little tricks um, that are really really helpful in your videos so let's get started uh, let's go out into the snow and uh, enjoy this day it's beautiful all right let's get started also have to say uh, if you guys don't have snow where you're living right now pretty much 90% of the world has it uh, yeah, you can do B-roll clips anywhere you need to do it. So this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys. Let's get this started. All right, so here we are heading out. Look at how beautiful it is around me here. So I'm going to walk around, find a place, and we're going to get some B-roll done. This is definitely something that um, I wanted to show you guys for a while now, but uh, this is just epic. This is like the perfect scenario for getting B-roll done. So let's, let's get it started. <laughs>
one most important thing to do when you're filming b-roll is to make sure you have the right components so going from one place to the next is very very straightforward but you have to make it look like it's so smooth so buttery buttery smooth movement is the best thing for b-roll You can see when you're doing b-roll is you can have some fun with it as well which is like most more or less just making sure that you get one transition to the next so it's very very important to get that done because then it looks like it's more of a cinematic feature but looking up at these trees and everything around you you gotta look at your surroundings and see what you can do best as far as b-roll goes <music> just kind of changed for the worse uh, there's literally a coyote in the distance here so gonna have to be very very uh, worrisome on what's going on here so sometimes you run into these things but uh, that was crazy as I'm creating b-roll here you also gotta be careful of your surroundings as you can see the fresh tracks <laughs> holy crap that's kind of scary actually. I literally just saw him run off in the distance over there. So yeah, it gives you one thing. You gotta be worrisome and where you're filming sometimes. Pretty crazy. All right, so as you can see guys, it's very, very important to understand the basics of B-roll, to add it into your videos. It's very, very important um, if you wanna be doing cinematography or increase and level up your videos. So thanks for watching guys. It's been an awesome time going out in the snow as we finally have snow here on the west coast so that's something to um, be happy about embrace it so yeah thanks for watching guys and i hope this video uh taught you how to do b-roll so because i'm going to start having more b-roll in my videos in the upcoming future so thanks for watching live love laugh and definitely adventure and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, also remember to hit that subscribe button and like so and comment below guys that's something that uh, if you want to hear more about my videos and more into my channel please hit the subscribe button it really helps out and I'm trying to build my community so we'll see you guys in the next video all right peace out for now